I would like to take you to my favourite place, and that's called Madranoli Well. We've all heard of these magic only wells where people go to get cured. We've got lots of them in Cornwall. The most famous one of all is called Madron Only Well. It's three miles out of Penzance. It's in a beautiful location. You've all heard of Cornish Pixies. Well, they, the, they do hover around these wells. They got tremendous healing power too. Most mis mystics would agree with me. It's the location of the site. And you will say to yourself, well, you just, for real mystics, you feel this energy there. You feel the presence. As you're walking down the path to Madron Oliwell, The first thing you'll come across is the clouties in the rowing tree. It's all the little bits of rag and cloths and everything that sick people has been there and hoping they're going to get a miracle and be healed. All these different cloths, clouties as they're known, will be tied in there. You're inclined to touch them and wonder what ailments different people got. But it's something you'll feel it. It's not a lot to see. You'll feel great. And underneath that tree is Madron Only Well. If you can't get a piece of cloth from a sick person, which it must be torn, torn, not cut, a bit of vest, a sock or whatever, it really doesn't matter. It's nice if you can get it from the person that is real poorly. Also, another thing, some of you will be atheists and don't believe in it, but it doesn't matter. You haven't got to be a Christian, you haven't got to be a Druid or a pagan. But you've got to try and pray. Has anybody, you must have got somebody that you need the help. And it'll come, but you must pray for that. But let me tell you a little bit about some of the old customs that used to carry on there. The children would be brought down to the well in the month of May and then they'd be dipped into the water and then they would have to go clockwise in a circle nine times and then they'd be taken out and they'd be resting on Madron's bed That's up in the so on, on a grassy bank. Then they'd, they'd be dressed up and also there was another custom they used to do. They used to have a cross, wheat or barley straw, and they'd put a pin through it and the ma young maidens would, would throw it into the well and if there was a lot of bubbles that would decide whether there was going to be a hurly marriage or not. Also they'd have two pebbles and if these two pebbles landed on the bottom of the pond the well at the same time it meant that they would soon get married likewise with the pins if they, they would soon if they reached the bottom they'd soon get married but it was special to do all this because the, the idea was the well would cure rickets, ringworms, war, warts, rheumatism, all sorts of ailments. The well had these healing powers. You're going to say, well, have you got any proof of this? Well, yes, I have got some proof of this. Real proof. In the, in the 1600s, there was a man called John Trelill. He was a cripple. He was 28 years of age, and he was a cripple. 
and he crawled around everywhere on his hands and this went on for several for, for many years and his mother said to him one day John I think you ought to go up to the well that this coming May and have some healing on yourself he said if it will please you I will go up and on the first Thursday in May because that's Beltane it's very important to Druids and the pagans. Everything is growing. It's it's it, it's it's the best time of the year to do these things. So anyhow, he pulled himself up to Madrin Holy Well, and he bathed. And on the first day, he crawled out, and he he lay on the bank on the bed, Madrin's bed. Um, when he went home, he, he did say to his mother, he said, Do you know what? I feel a little bit better. She said, Right, my lad, next Thursday you've got to go back again. And uh, that's what he did. He went back. We'll never know if it was an angel or anybody up there with him. We, 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 we'll never know this. But anyhow, he got himself back to his mother. He said, Do you know what? He said, i got to keep going back. He said, I feel that something special is going to happen for me and when he climbed out out of the water a miracle had happened john trelill was cured he came home to his mother he said mom it really worked for me i'm cured this news spread all over cornwall in fact it got as far as devon the bishop of exeter dispatched two of his men down to cornwall to Madrin to find out what really did happen. But before I finish, I've got one last little story to tell you. American guy came over to see me a few years back. He was an atheist. He didn't really believe in anything. He'd so much so he didn't believe in himself. But I took him down to Madrin well. I had my rubber boots on, because a few years back, you needed rubber boots. It was so much mud and bad conditions down there. These days you can don't go down there with your slippers on. Anyhow, I took the American down there and I climbed down into the well and I scooped up an handful of water and I like baptised myself. Always do this when you're at an holy well. Don't matter if it's in Cornwall or anywhere. Always baptise your own self with it. Anyhow, he said, what are you doing? I said, I'm baptising myself. Oh, he said, can you get me some water? So I made it like a cup with my hands and I scooped up an handful of water and I climbed up the bank with water dripping everywhere. He opened his hands and I, I tipped and I, a quarter of a cup of water in. And this atheist guy bathed himself with the water I got from the well. He said, that's a bit of magic. And that's what I've told you now, all about the magic of magic, magic only well. Moving on now to the chapel. Obviously, they were always down there, the Druids, Pagans and different groups. But the church obviously decided to build a little chapel down there. This was not nothing unusual. Christians love building churches and chapels on pagan sites, and this was no exception. They built one down there. It's a beautiful little place, and believe you me, there's wax of energy down there all around. For mystics, for atheists, for anybody, you will find Madrin a magic place. It's got seats around the side of it. It's got a lovely little halter. In fact, and flowers all around. You'll hear the water running into the chamber. That's coming from Madrim Well.